G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Assorted Solo Plays, and I am your host, Vastima. Today we're back with Northway Games Rebuild 3, Gangs of Densville. A light 4x game with a heavy emphasis on survival management, in which you rebuild cities in the aftermath of a zombie apocalypse. More information can be found below. Last time around, we fended off waves of mass zombies, met a lone traveller and her dog, and indulged in a little gambling with Gustav. Now, let's get back to it. So, here we are back in Snoqualmie, and where we left off, I still need to decide what we're going to do with my scavenger. Uh, everybody else is assigned. If we click on him... If I remember correctly, yes, he's very, very unhappy, and obviously we haven't got a lab yet, so I can't find out the exact reasons for his unhappiness, because I haven't researched survivor management, but we can make an educated guess. If I remember correctly, he was the survivor that was devout. Yes, I believe so. And since we've been tearing down any churches, or have we even come across a church? I'm fairly sure we took it over a church and I replaced it. And so, after a certain period of time without any churches available, devout followers uh, lose their devout sta uh, status, or perk, I should say. But, um, while that's a good thing for the reasons I have already discussed, uh, it also incurs a happiness penalty. But we're going to deal with that by moving him to an apartment and giving him some time off. And with that all done, let's move on to the next day. Okay, so we've reclaimed that warehouse. And... Uh, the team is slowly clearing out this hospital, which we need if we are going to uh, make another attempt to recruit these two people together because one of them was injured and we'll need the hospital uh, reclaimed to fix that person up. But I've just realised I can't reclaim that hospital unless I have an adjacent block. So I'm going to have to bring her over and reclaim this park first. Now uh, we've still got this uh, small group of mass zombies outside the walls of our settlement and they're still not attacking. They're being rather uncooperative. Oh well, zombies do that from time to time. And let's have a look at our friend Terence. And Terence is still unhappy but He's up to 15% now. He was at 10 before. So, all that done, let's move on to the next day. And the hospital has been cleared out, but like I said, we still need to reclaim this park first. What I might do is... Let's just see... It's going to take two days left if I do nothing. Let's just move all these people here for a second, see if it makes a difference. 1.3. No, not at um, turn based. It won't make enough of a difference to bother. So, what instead I might do is just put them there for a sec. Let's check our friend Terence again. Up to 20 now. That's good. But what I might do is I might. Actually, there's not much point clearing this place out yet. It'll probably just fill up with zombies again by the time I can take over the hospital. So. In that case, if I remember rightly, Diane and her group, yes, they are facing increased danger. So, move up another soldier. That drops to 1%. That's fairly acceptable. Uh, food. We have a 3.3 .3 per day surplus and we're on normal rations. So, I can actually recruit uh, three more survivors. And how many can we fit in? Oh, hell, we can fit in another five. Let's go see about recruiting this person here. Hopefully it is just a single person, not another two people. Else I'm going to have to quickly build myself 
another apartment or capture some set of lodgings which I can't do with that guy there so oh well we'll cross that bridge when we come to it okay she's still reclaiming that he's recruiting she's defending that's still not attacking that's annoying okay recruitment oh huh. it ended up Okay, recruitment. The soldier and his son seemed to think it was better to keep moving. By settling down, he thought, we're just making our presence known to all the Zed and less friendly people in the area. When they come for us, it will be bad. He and the boy shared a long, meaningful look. I guess they've been through some hard time and have trouble trusting people. So I can either bribe them, <laughs> frighten them, or convince them. I'm not high enough to convince them. And frighten them, frightening them, I believe, gives them a uh, a penalty to their happiness. I might just bribe them. For all their talk, these two didn't look well. Max seemed half starved to death, in fact. I offered the boy an energy bar and he just about swallowed a whole... Whole. <clears throat> Excuse me. I told them there's more where that came from and they practically follow me back to the fort like lost puppies. So, I've got one adult and one kid. Now, children in this game act like equipment, but unlike other equipment, they give you a minus one to all your stats. So, let's... Okay, uh, he's with his father at the moment, and his father's a soldier. Um, now, I can't really afford to give him to anybody else, so I'm just going to leave him with his father for the moment, and I'll put his father with the rest of this group. I tell you what, that is becoming annoying. Can I... Uh, not without... No, nah, that's just too dangerous. And that is apparently unscouted. Why would that be unscouted? Mass zombies can't scout once there's mass zombies there. Fair enough. Let's have a look at Terence. Terence is now up to 30%. He's slowly going up. And the park is now part of my territory. Of course, that counted as, I believe, okay, 2.5 food per day. A child must eat more than an adult. Is that correct or... Do adults see more than I thought? Okay, I'm a little confused now. I'll work that out later. I could have swore they only ate uh, one food per person per day. Um, okay, so now we're going to need, if we want to recruit these two people, we're going to need more territory. We're going to need um, another farm. So there is another farm up there, but, oh, damn, okay. Things are getting complex. I do have a surplus of food, so that's not a massive problem. Let's see about sending Thomas down to clear this out. He'd be in no danger. I might shift my level one guy down here so he can get some easy experience. And it will also change that to one day. So let's do that. Day laborers. There are three men at the gates asking for help. One of them is limping and holding a bloody rag to his neck, but he won't let us look at the wound. Ugh, sounds like a bite to me. They want to patch him up with some of our medicine and stay the night. Sorry. They want to patch him up with some of our medicine and stay the night. In exchange, they'll teach us a few things about construction. These are quiet, honest-looking men, but I suspect the one with the wound has been bitten. Should we help them? Ah, well. Yeah, let's let them stay. 
This could end rather badly, but... Okay. The two healthy ones, Rory and Diego, gave us welcome advice on putting up basic buildings the old-fashioned way without modern power tools. We should be able to build bars, churches, workshops and laboratories now. Well, that's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, during the night I woke to screams and gunfire as their friend had quietly died then returned and attacked them. Terence put him down before anyone was hurt, but it cost us valuable, valuable ammunition. The remaining two left at dawn without a word. So there goes all our medicine and all our ammo. That's not good. That's sucky. Okay, Terence. Yeah, I don't care that you're unhappy. You're going to have to start looting places. I need more loot. Damn, those mass zombies just hanging around. I probably should have hunted them down earlier. No, there's nothing I can do about it now. And she's still reclaiming that hospital. Is that going to be two days? Yes, two more days. Another day. Here we go, finally. Okay, zombie attack. The Zed aren't smart and they don't run from danger. Even when each one that steps up out of the shadows ends up with a flaming arrow in its chest, they keep coming and dying until there are none left. Okay, found some fuel, which I actually didn't need. But, oh, more mass zombies. Here we go. So we killed those zombies down there. That's good. Dangerous levels of mass Z. Okay, let's start off by moving Diane down there. Okay, that goes to normal. Huh? Oh, no, 8%. Okay, let's, let's just see. So I would rather not have the same thing happen again. 5% danger for 15z mast. Uh -huh, 1.4 days, no danger. Okay, we're doing that. We're getting rid of them now before they become a problem. Well, before they hang around forever and become a problem I should say and I've got no ammo so I imagine I'm not even contributing to the defense there let's check and see oh no I am 2% oh but Gustav is up there and I could trade a bit of food for a bit of ammo yeah let's go see Gustav instead trade with Gustav a city on the grow now that we've grown big enough and people feel safe inside the walls, some of our old problems are coming back. Survivors are starting to bicker amongst themselves, complaining about the quality of food, demanding electricity and hot water and civil rights. Hot water? God damn, you whingers. It's time we build a city hall and set up a government. Something better than the old pre-infection ones, a system that actually works. City Hall has been added to the list of buildings we can construct. So, we can now build a City Hall. Let's see if he needs anything. He has much need of food? Well, food is the only thing I've got to sell, Gustav, so that's fantastic. Now, we will sell you food in exchange for all of that extremely expensive ammunition. And, okay, and 13 food, how much was this salt rifle And No, too expensive. We've got some fuel to turn into bombs, and I might just get some ammo. Just to tide me over until I can get a workshop. Yeah, that, sh that should be fine. We'll do that. Okay. Definitely doable. Look at the size of that huge farm. Ooh. 
And there's a workshop right right there. Um, okay. Ooh, found a wrench. Uh, let me just see. I think that's a builder's weapon that also... Oh, no, it's just an item. Uh, that's no good. No good whatsoever. Well, we've got the hospital now. And we can now recruit these two... Uh, Let's just see. Killing zombies. No danger. Oh, I forgot to check the time. Yep. I can do that in one day. That's fine then. Um, okay, but I still need to build a farm. Hmm. I have, I've only got that one park. Which I guess I don't really... Well, I need to keep it for hunting, I just remember. Um... Let's just move her out of there for a sec. I'll move her back in, yeah. So you can hunt in farms, you can't hunt in the woods. I don't think... Yeah, you can hunt chop wood in the woods which is rather strange but fair enough okay now we could take over those houses i've got 40 material hmm we could also take over those houses and there's a farm right next to it but it's an unexplored farm so for all we know it could have a mass group of zombies on it so i'm more inclined to just wait the turn take over that field and turn that field into a farm which i believe is exactly what i'll do in fact, I will instead use my turn with her scouting that place. Okay, that should work. We've got the hospital. There we go. Excellent. The road is long. Terence Williams heard crying last night and went out into the city to see what it was. He found a young boy wandering out there, exhausted, traumatised and alone. The kid is in shock. He hasn't said a word. We don't know where he's from or what happened to his family, but can guess the worst. He's been sticking close to Terence. Ah, uh, let's adopt him. They do eventually uh, get old enough to become full working members of the community. Uh, it, it only takes a fraction of the time it, it should in real life, but... Oh well, I'm not going to complain about that. Terence took the kid in. We eventually coaxed a name out of him, Ricardo. It's going to take some time before the poor boy's life is back to normal, if you could ever call this kind of life normal. But he'll heal and adapt. Children are pretty flexible that way. Yes, they are. Okay, so the survivor in those uh, houses up here and we killed the zombies oh i killed the zombies here so i want to go on a recruiting mission there to see if um, both of those people are still alive we killed the zombies in the field so we want to get natalie and re oh okay so you can hunt in fields as well well there's no point um having another spot hunting we can just leave it for that park and we found some fuel down there oh, I was definitely hoping for something other than just fuel I've got to say I might clear out my hospital I'll be able to find a med kit there 1.3 days that's good 
Now, she's turning that. Oh, no, she's reclaiming that, and then she'll turn it into a farm. But I don't like all this orange garbage. I also want to get rid of all this and ca and reclaim it because if I can reclaim it then I'll have one solid border all the way up to the forest. Um, I could of course just barrel straight towards uh, the end of this city by building a um, city hall and finishing this mission and moving on to the next city but I would prefer to go into the next city with a few more levels. So you get to actually take, uh, I believe, uh, four, f yeah, I think it's you, like the, your avatar, Thomas in this case, and uh, three or four other people with you. So I'd like to have those characters up to a higher level before I do that. Um, so what I might do, let's just see if Diane can possibly deal with this situation by herself. Two days, no danger. Okay, she can. And then we'll see if the boys can. That is a boys club now, isn't it? Yep. See if they can manage it without getting killed. 4% danger. It's not too bad, i got to say. And I've got a hospital now, so let's risk it. Okay, I think we'll leave it there for today. Please press like if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this series. As always, I am your host, Vastima. Have a good one.